Hey everybody, welcome back to Raven Hawk Coins, and today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really excited to, to do a first time ever Canadian coin roll hunt, and this is made possible by Canadian Ryan. He hooked up everything from books to an entire box of nickels from Canada, as well as a Canadian nickel coin mat from my brother, Rob Finds Treasure. Um, Canadian Ryan told me that these were customer wrapped, I believed, uh, and we're going to get this open in just a minute, but I'm really, really excited. I wanted to show you guys all this stuff before I put these into the world famous nickel mids, and hopefully we find some really cool stuff, some of those key dates or maybe an error or something you just never know. We'll be back soon. Raven Hot Coins, stay tuned. All right, everybody, so we got the nickel mids set up, and Canadian Ryan was cool enough to send me a little bag of some nickels to help fill the books for some of the spots that he thought would be a little bit harder to get. And um, he also sent in some really cool couple bonus items here. These are actually ounces of nickel, and I thought that was pretty awesome. I haven't seen any of that in quite a while. And then he sent me a silver quarter. And a silver Canadian dime. The dime is from uh, 67. It's the little, I believe that's a trout. It's either a trout or a uh, salmon. I think it's salmon. And then, of course, you have the caribou on the 66 silver quarter. So thank you very much for those, brother. We're going to get in to the first of the nickel mids from Canada up north. Hopefully we find something good. Keeping the fingers crossed. Ravenhawk Coins. Stay tuned. All right, everybody. So we got through the first of the nickel mids, and we have some really cool finds. And since I'm, of course, have never done a Canadian nickel search, I'm going to keep one of pretty much everything I find, at least in the more modern eras. And then uh, the ones that are nickel, of course, all the way back, I'll be keeping those as well. Some really cool things. So all the way from 1961, all the way up to 2019. Matter of fact, this is 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, all the way down. And there's only literally a couple dates missing here and there. I'm missing uh, 2000, but I have 2001, um, 2002, 2003. So I'm missing the year 2000. And in 2005 is really, really cool. Check this out. It has two different styles for that year this is a commemorative five cent and i should be turning it to side to side because it is canadian and then you'll see the other design is the regular beaver tail so very cool there and i did it again i flipped it upside down <laughs> um, our oldest find is from 1961 this is really cool has the unique rim that they do or edge that they do in Canada so that's really neat then we have from 72 74 75 77 79 and 80 those are all uh nickel and I believe 81 is also and then so 81 all the way up to uh 99 and then in 2017 they had these really cool beaver tail commemoratives that i forgot to share with you guys i found three of those so far so very very cool i can't wait to get to the end of this because then we're going to see what exactly is filled in this in these uh, whitman folders that canadian ryan sent i'm really really excited about this hunt we got four more nickel mids and a lot more to find raven hot coins stay tuned all right, everybody, so we got through the next nickel mid, and what I did was anything that was more modern, like the 90s forward, I just added to the pile over here. And so what we're going to look at is we did find one of the 92 commemoratives, and I don't think I shared one of these on the last one, so this is really cool from uh, 67 to 92. Canada really likes doing the commemorative nickels and uh, I thought that was a pretty cool share so let me put that right there where it goes and then we had two from 85 81 80 79 77 75 and uh, basically you know a lot like our nickels they didn't change a lot except for when they had the the uh, commemorative years 
And so I'll show you the oldest one we got this time was a 1964. And the cool thing about these older nickels is these are actually 100% nickel. We also got some pretty nice looking 65s. So we have three more nickel mids to get through. I'm going to move these over and add to the pile over here. Hopefully we find some more cool dates and whatnot. We'll see what happens. Raven Hot Coins, stay tuned. All right, everybody. So we got through nickel mid number three. Here are our finds. I'm just highlighting the older ones. Here's a 1977. Followed by 76. We got 74. 1972, we got two of those. A 1969. And then the oldest in this group is a 68. And so far I have not found any from 2000 or from 1997, I think. Yep, 2000 and 1997. So still on the look for those. We got two more nickel mids to get through, keeping those fingers crossed. Ravenhawk Coins, stay tuned. All right, so we got through the next nickel mid, and we have some really cool finds, especially this one right here. Look at this, guys. It's offset by quite a bit. Check it out. To the south there, look at the bottom, how thick that is. Very, very cool, and almost nothing at the top, so that's a really cool find. Then I found a couple from 1978. 77. 76. I really like the character on this 75, the patina that is. A couple 74s. A 1971. And then the ever famous, and I was really happy to find this, the hair nickel, guys. Check that out. Very, very cool. 1967. 1964 and then another one with the cool pattern the early early 60s and 50s have this type of rim to it so very cool so i'm going to put these in the mix here we got one more nickel mid to get through never know what we'll find but that's a lot to to figure out what we're going to put in these books raven hot coins stay tuned all right, everybody, so we're through the last of the nickel mids, and the one thing that I noticed really obvious is Canadian money, at least this box, a lot cleaner than the American nickels, that I, or the United States currency that I look at. And then we did find about a dollar in nickels and a dime to go with everything, but let's look at the last finds here from 1978. This one's in pretty nice condition, actually. And then I'm just going to show the beaver side. 77. We got four 76ers. Couple from 74. 72. 1968. And the oldest for that group, 1964. Four, and it looks a little tiny bit off stricken but, but not much but that my friends is a really cool hunt everything from 1960 all the way up to 2019 i didn't find a two year 2000 and i didn't find i think there's one other year that's missing um and it's eluding me right off the top of my head. I think it was a 1997. Yes, 97 and 2000, I think, are the only nickels I didn't find for that entire run. And then for the uh, 80s and 90s, we have everything. 87, 86, 85, 84, 83. Oh, no 1982s. Got a bunch of 80s, 79, all the way down to... 66 is what we're missing then we have 65 64 61 and 60 and that is really really cool either way 
a lot, a lot of fun. And so what I'm going to do is see what we have to get into these two books here. But this video has gotten to be really, really long. So what I'm probably going to do is make that into a second video. But then again, I feel like I'm kind of shorting you guys. So you know what? Hold on just a second. I'm going to see how many spots we can fill. Ravenhawk Coins, stay tuned. All right, everybody. So I got through what he gave me in bonus nickels, and it's really cool. A lot of very low mintage dates starting from 1922 to 2324, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35 and 36. Then it skips the 40s and the 50s. And I got a couple in the 60s from the coin hunt today. So that was really cool. And this book I almost completely filled, guys. I'm only missing... Uh, 1966, 1970, 73, and 77, the high-low, I don't know about that. 1982, I'm missing. 1991, I'm missing. 96 with the far six. And uh, a 97, I'm missing. I'm missing 2000 and 2001, 2003P, and then 2006 Royal Canadian Mint. I do have the 2006 variety right here that has the no P, no RCM right there. And that's pretty cool. And the uncrowned verse on the uh, 2003. So there were some cool varieties found in this. Very, very awesome. I want to say a big thank you and shout out again to Canadian Ryan. And of course, Rob Finds Treasure for hooking up Ryan with the mat. And like always, guys... Develop those relationships. You can have fun and do cool stuff like this. I'm really, really, really happy with this, guys. That is awesome to fill that many spots looking through one, one box. And then, of course, the bonus coins he gave me. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again in the near future. If you want to correspond, it's ravenhawkcoins at gmail.com. Our P.O. box is 721-296, Norman, Oklahoma, 73070. And like always, please, please make sure to take care of one another. Ravenhawk Coins, have a great day.